Ravel's Bad Dream 1956 Chevy Lowrider, a vintage goodie, coming up next. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name's Trevor Slescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Well, sometimes you actually come across a real oldie goldie, and this is one of the moldy yummies that we got <laughs> from back in the day. This is the 1956 Chevy Bad Dream Lowrider Kit by Ravel. This is like late 70s, early 80s, somewhere in there. So now, let's go down and check out this classic. All right, boys and girls, let's rip the top off this real mold. The oldie going all the way back to 1976. The Ravel Bad Dream 56 Chevy Lowrider. Now... This is a moldy oldie. <laughs> this I got from my friend Andrew, May 25th. It's my birthday, 1994. I've had this one for a long time and just could not really get into building it very far. But as you can see, this one has the big old style Ravel multi-part engine with all the little valve spring guides and everything that you can see that unfortunately gets all covered up when you glue the engine block together. It also has the posable front wheels and you can add an adopter block for raising or lowering your car. And they give you some cutoffs for doing some custom work. They also have little flags for the colors of paint you're going to use. Kind of interesting to see a blueprint style. This car you could almost build stock except for one problem. The interior is fully customized, so there goes your idea for building it stock. It's got the multi two piece tire assembly, opening doors, hood, and trunk. And the side, there's your latches there for your doors, is what I'm trying to say. And then up it's got custom bumperettes, or you could add the stock bumper to it, or maybe, maybe not. I'm not too sure, <laughs> actually. And you've got your choice of the stock tail light or the custom filler piece, and then front splash pan and optional grills. Yeah, it must be stock or custom, more or less. And then they give you the the specifications of the trim. So you could build this as a 150 series with the trim that way. The 210 where the trim continued down to the side, much like the Del Rey model I reviewed earlier, or the Bel Air where it splits and comes back. So it is kind of a neat kit in that regard. Um, now we're going to look at the plastic. But before we do that, this is the decal sheet that comes with it. You can call it the Chili Pepper, the Bad Dream, or the Lime Sherbert and they give you a different license plates for it. A downer. It's a downer. <laughs> it's a real downer, man. Okay, here's the body. Now, it's molded in this nice metallic apple green. And I did start to do some work to it. I sanded down the roof because it was a bit lumpy. But I have one major problem. Look at how bowed out that is. So in order to straighten this, I'll have to force it into the underpan of the body till it goes upright, which is going to be tricky to put these separate doors on. So this is the door for, of course, the other side here, which will fit into here. Well, you just saw it fit in there, didn't you? <laughs> It'll fit into there, and then I've got to bring this up like this is going to be interesting. It's got pretty heavy duty door gaps in there, of course, to allow for it to swing open, but it could have been done a little nicer. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one to do. Probably why I haven't started to really fully build it yet. There's the chrome, but what's unique about this, uh, there's one of the wheels, the other four must be in the box still, is those are the side pieces for you to determine how you want to build it. 210, Bel Air, Del Rey, that sort of thing. So pretty cool. Aha, then we have our 
under undercarriage here, our chassis. I did start to fill sink marks on this one, just so you guys know. And that's the back seat. Oops. I think I did this so that I could figure out how to get it back together again. See what I mean? It's way out. It actually have to go pretty much like this underneath. So even both sides need to come in. Um, hopefully, you're, if you buy one of these on the internet, if you find one it's not warped like mine was, is... There's the glass. Looks like I might be missing one of the side windows here. Okay, it's from 1976. Like, wow. It's lucky it lasted this long, <laughs> you know. There's our seat. Well, I guess it wouldn't be going anywhere, but, you know, it's in good shape for what it is. Okay, here's those interior panels. It's a nice apple green. Look at those seats. They're uh, two bucket seats with a console down the middle. And then there's our door panels. Now, that's a stock door panel there, but if you flip it over, there's a custom one. It's sort of got that, you know, cross in the middle. Then here's the upholstery for the front. As well as these are the blanks for your blanking your taillights and headlights and that sort of thing. And you turn it over again and there's that that pattern there. Here's those two-piece tires. That would be the front part. These are the back part and they go together like this. And then it's hard to get rid of that seam line right in the middle, but I've seen people crazy glue these together, so maybe there's some hope. There's our firewall. Here's the dashboard as a one piece. And then there's the center console, which would go under here somewhere. So it's quite cool, even for back then. That's like your shift gate pattern. <laughs> Okay, I'm bringing over the box, but as you can see, a lot of these parts got cut off part tree. Looks like I was trying to put the engine together. That's why I showed you in the instructions the separate pieces to it. And uh, yeah, there's the rest of the wheels, and I guess everything's kind of hunky-dory, right? There's our trunk lid, and our hood, and it's got a faint little V molded in there. That's so that you can align your chrome V's, or you could just decide to sand it off and make it smooth. And that pretty much brings us to the end of our review of the Bad Dream. I hope you enjoyed that blast from the past when we got to open up something that maybe many of you never get to see. A 1970s release of the Bad Dream 56 Chevy Lowrider. Copyright. Okay, if you would like to see other model cars, check out our website at www.monster-hobbies.ca. Like and subscribe to this channel right down here so you can see more and more of these cool cars as I open them up. And check out these three videos to see some of the other things that I have done on What's in the Box. And until next time, remember to drive a little slower.